George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Prelet, or Shrove Tide, that's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you're learning about your Christian faith in places you never expected to learn about your faith from, a uh, Missouri Synod Lutheran pastor, and a Jack Russell Terrier that doesn't catch treats anymore, go ahead and like and subscribe today. Please like our videos. Please subscribe. Get notifications. Ring the bell. You can also give, follow the link below to HigherThings.org and give today your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things an organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. We do these videos. We don't care whether um, adults, parents, grandparents watch it. Uh, we do them for young people, but we, we want to resource folks to pass the faith on. Give today. So come on up here, bud. So, Shrove Tide or Pre Lent, the season. Come on up, bud. The season of Pre Lent is an old season. It's it's designed for us to slow down. The Epiphany season, with all that glory and majesty of Almighty God, with all of that huge. Um, I'm gonna grab him. With all of that. It's designed to slow us down a little bit. Here's some turkey, buddy. Slow us down a little bit. Get us in the preparations for Lent. It's the workout before Lent. It's not that we love Lent so much we want more. It's that very early in the Christian church, it was very clear that folks would put off and celebrate and, and attempt to just sort of wear out themselves before Lent. So the Lent's a fast. And so they would party like it's 1999 up until Shrove Tuesday, which was supposed to be a somber day. Instead, it was like the last day of partying. And I'm from Louisiana. I know all about Mardi Gras and the carnival season, which is the opposite of what was intended. The carnival season, Sunday begins pre-Lent. It begins Shrove Tide. But for us in Louisiana, everything escalates. More carnivals, more parades, more everything. At least on Mardi Gras, everything shuts down. Not so for you. Not so for you. Slow down. Start getting ready for Lent. Start thinking about Lent. Start thinking about the suffering and death of Jesus. Not in a law way like I'm telling you something you have to do. High five. There's something right there. Everyone get it? Not in a law way like I'm telling you something you have to do, but in a gospel way. This is what Christ did for me. I can slow down. I can start preparing for it. I can start thinking about the fast. This is not, let me get all that I can get into, uh, all my sin out of the way so that I can have a Lent that's sin-free. No. Start contemplating what Christ did for you. Start meditating and start increasing. Start training in order to, to celebrate, to fast. Septuagesima Sunday which means 70, 70 days until Easter. The countdown is about to begin. Jesus is on his way to the cross. If you're on a different lectionary, let's say you're on the three-year lectionary, which is fine. Um, 1960, Ordo Lectiona Missi, Rome, but it's a fine lectionary. Let's say you're on that, and so you don't have pre-Lent anymore. You're going to party until Epiphany, until uh, Transfiguration, which is the Sunday before um, Shrove Tuesday or Mardi Gras, you can do pre-Lent too. Slow down. Start contemplating. Stop, don't, don't just go crazy and then wait until the day of. Be thinking about the suffering and death of Jesus. Be thinking about how that impacts your life. Start meditating on it. Don't give up the hallelujahs yet. Don't give up something for pre-Lent. Just begin your walk to the fast, for it's coming. He's headed to the cross. He's headed to save us. High five. High five. There's a good boy. I'm Pastor George Borgard, feeding turkey to the boy. And this has been another Higher Things video short.